the last time Scotland were whitewashed. The next 80 minutes will decide which of those runs comes to an end. And Ireland in Release. the green. Stay back, Blue! Take that kick off comfortably enough. Simon Easterby, who's had a terrific season, but O'Gara immediately charged down. This is Bullock out to Douglas. But he is now in the position to give Scotland the lead at the start of this match. And it's straight and it's true. And that will boost Scotland. And you can see what it means to Chris Patterson. The points in international run. Both sides have had two attacks. Both sides have had a penalty each. Made sure the ball came back on the green side. O'Gara stretching. And this is Darcy. And the warnings have been there. What a Six Nations Darcy is having. Here is Horgan. Little chip over. Webster's there. The bounce of the ball favours Scotland. The passing so far doesn't find touch. Horgan gathers. This is the fullback, Dempsey. Now Jordan Murphy, second game back after the broken leg to O'Driscoll, to Darcy. And shuffled into touch. But what Ireland would have loved to have done a week ago against Italy, but couldn't because of the wind. Tight to scrums is where his strength is because he's so quick over those first few few meters and he's got stru such strength and power in his legs to break those tackles. Thousands and thousands of youngsters all over okay. Ireland have been refusing to go to the barber since Shane Burns two tries against Wales. And this is O'Kelly. As soon as he got up to break away, there were blue shirts stopping him. O'Gara to O'Driscoll. Doesn't bother with Darcy, finds Dempsey though, and this is Horgan back inside, he's a real bulldozer, and the try is scored for Gordon Darcy, his first try for his country, in a match that may well end in the Triple Crown, Darcy has Lansdowne Road alive. Most of his life, the D went one way, the RC went the other, and the apostrophe went straight down the middle, Philip. Oh, you and your punctuation. That was it was it was a great try and, and, and again hugely influenced by well it has to say you have to say both Darcy and Odisco who are now starting it has to be said and Andy Irvin and Gavin Hastings have scored more points for Scotland than Chris Patterson and he has another three to add to his collection and Matt Williams and Todd Black at a side have pulled back to within two Ireland eight Scotland six. Thank you. Gara again goes long with the restart, which is an interesting tactic, forcing Simon Taylor to run out of defence, which he will do with pleasure up to the 22. Stay back. Cassiter waits for the ball. Parks being challenged by Stringer, doesn't find touch, this is Foley. Tells Murphy where he wants him and Murphy says OK. Comes back inside the Leicester winger until he's hauled to the floor by Murray. Someone has lost a boot. He's missed two eminently kickable so far. And he will feel much better about life. Not too difficult to see who the culprit is, is it? Drop goal from Parks. And it's there. Oh, goodness me. Cool head. Cool, cool head. Almost 40 metres out for St. Drop goal. Yeah, well, you have to say that it's no less than Scotland deserved the last 10 or 15 minutes. They've dominated this. They've shown a little bit more. In because of Gleason's injury. And this is an important scrum for Ireland. Just the two points in it as we bear down on half time. Just one or two worry lines, maybe. Foley to Stringer. Horgan. And there's a big Dublin bulldozer. This is O'Gara to O'Driscoll. Jordan match rugby Jordan Murphy and they've got the try just before half time well you can almost anticipate that one coming Ireland just in the mood that they're in at the moment with a confidence so high a scrum from that position you've got such talent in so many places how can any 
how can your defence expect to cover, to cover that? Because the threat is going to come from anywhere, isn't it? Foley to Stringer, Horgan, he was a big Dublin bulldozer. This is O'Gara, 2-0 to a score. Jordan Murphy! Welcome back to Test Match Rugby, Jordan Murphy! And they've got the try just before half-time. And O'Gara with the conversion attempt, and his radar is very definitely on the blink. He will worry about that at half-time, but there will be less worry in that Irish dressing room because they've got that second try. The drives on. Cusseter, Webster coming in, came in at pace, but the defence was alert. Now then, what can they do? Patterson, jinx one way, and, uh, well, he runs down a Dublin dead end. Still, though, it's Scottish possession. Parks, back to Webster. Look at the defence, though, he was facing four green shirts. Let's try and get some pace on the recycling if they can. Daniele, back to Patterson. They're not getting within five metres of the try line at the moment. Parks spins away. Scotland have the advantage. They want the try. They've got the try. And they deserve it. And Ali Hogg comes up with the ball. And Lansdowne Road the voices that have made the trip across the Irish Sea is very, very quiet, and Scotland are playing their rugby of the championship. But just broke them down by the, just a war of attrition there on that Irish defence. It's time after time, man after man being challenged, just tying in those defenders. But at the end, it was a fairly simple dive over for... Patterson to square things up, and it's all square. The team who were 20 to 1 on. Look at the defence though, he was facing four green shirts. Let's try and get some pace on the recycling if they can. Daniele back to Patterson. They're not getting within five metres of the try line at the moment. Parks spins away. Scotland have the advantage. They want the try. They've got the try. They deserve it. The more they talk, the more likely the nerves are likely to jangle. And I think that's what Ireland is suffering at the moment. They've got the free kick taken on by Foley. Drives for the line for all he's worth. The packer behind him. He's held up, though. It's magnificent Scottish defence. There's the ball. It ought to come back on the green side. O'Callaghan, as ever, is there. Now Stringer to O'Connell. Look at that defence, though. Wallace rolls off the tackle. Still going, Wallace! Try for Wallace! And Ireland can breathe again. Well, they can breathe again for a little while, and we kind of said it earlier on, this is the talent of David Wallace. Whatever about the threat out wide, David Wallace is a consistent threat. Tight in, taking those balls flat. Tackles there. It wasn't particularly pretty, but this time Ireland managed to maintain possession and he had a lot of work to do. He just rotated his way out of that tackle, spun away and had the, the strength. The two points aren't a certainty. O'Gara has not been kicking well, but that was much, much better. It ought to come back on the green side. O'Callaghan, as ever, is there. Now Stringer to O'Connell. Look at that defence, though. Wallace rolls off the tackle, still going, Wallace! Try for Wallace! And Ireland can breathe again. Darcy, seemed to drop the ball, but then regathered it and drove forward Darcy. Horgan screaming for the ball on this near right-hand side. Ireland have to retrieve it first. This time tackles in. O'Driscoll, back to... Dempsey. Release. Five metres short. Will one more 
will try be enough. Stringer goes for the gap and scores! The unlikeliest of try scorers, Peter Stringer. Just his third in the green of his country, and none more important. It may come stamped with the words triple crown. It's really the first up tackles. Bill Hayes does very, very well just getting those hard yards, gets Scotland on the back foot, but Peter Stringer really should have been put to ground there. Henderson just a little bit stretched, and Scott... And his schoolmate, when they were eight years old at Presentation College in Cork, adds the two points. O'Gara with the conversion. Heading for the Lagers, they're suddenly back on, and Alan Jacobson has got... Just an extra couple of minutes to do as Paul O'Connell drives forward for Ireland. Seven and a half minutes away from the Triple Crown. Here's the man who set them along the way. Darcy takes the tourist route to Jordan Murphy. Back inside to Darcy. And Darcy, Ireland's man of the championship, scores the Triple Crown winning try. Well, again, I'll manage to create that open field situation. And they really, really are finding a Scottish defence and are just not able to cope with it. Yeah, they're really from that ruck. Ball's just switched back inside. Now, he really shouldn't be able to get that, that far. Ran his way around the defence, was back on Jordan Murphy's shoulder. And once Ireland had got... Three minutes to go. Hands up, Blue! Stringer. Stringer still going, one of the try scorers, they've got five already. Half a dozen would be neat. The next time the ball goes dead, there will be confirmation of Ireland's triple crown from the whistle of the Welshman, Nigel Williams. <laughs> 19 years has come to an end. Eddie O'Sullivan's Island have the Triple Crown, their 50th win against Scotland, and Brian O'Driscoll, the King of Ireland, leads them to a seventh Triple Crown.